is starting to come up and it's a little hard to see but our blueberry bushes have buds we are with our first little bench started again She's a good girl. Yeah, you are a good girl. She's a good girl. Hi, everybody. It's Amy from Winterwood Studio, and look. No brace. <laughs> it just came off a couple days ago. Uh, this has been my first week without a brace. Um, I had to refilm the beginning for this video because uh, it was more painful than I thought it was going to be. It was actually more painful being out of the brace than it was in the brace. So I didn't get as much done this week art-wise as I wanted. Um, and what I was able to do was different from what I planned to do. <laughs> Um, so this week, uh, I'm going to be, um, showing you a little work I did on the watercolor for the May tutorial for Patreon. Um, I am also, uh, starting an acrylic painting, um, a nice big 16 by 20 acrylic painting, and I'm excited about that, so I'll show you the first stages of that. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I think I recorded myself, um, with some footage doing my, uh, working on my Copic marker piece, um, if I did, if I did record that, that'll be in this video as well. Um, but then we also have some other fun stuff to see. Uh, I'm going to show you the Mother's Day present from my husband and children that's out in the garden. <laughs> and, um, we'll give you a little bit of a greenhouse update, um, and just uh, generally have some fun. So grab yourself something nice to drink, either a nice cozy cup of tea or coffee. If it's cold still while you are, it is still cold here. <laughs> Our leaves aren't even out yet. Um, or uh, something nice and chilly, nice lemonade maybe. If it is hot where you are and come on in and let's chat for a little bit. Okay, so as I mentioned, I am not pre-filming, post-filming this. Uh, it's Friday. This is supposed to go up tomorrow. Um, but my week was totally different from what I planned it would be. Um, yeah, it hurt. It hurt a lot. It was really hard to sit at the desk. I'm going really slow on the watercolor. Um, it was a little easier working at my easel, um, sketching in the start of the acrylic painting. So I was able to do that. Um, you'll probably also see a little bit more cleaning in the basement. Um, uh, I'm excited to show you the final reveal on that. Um, it is done now officially at this, of the time of recording this. Uh, and then I also wanted to mention that I'm making some changes to Sketchbook Club over on Patreon. In June, we're doing a um, uh, a challenge. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'll hold it like this. Um, but I made this little PDF for the challenge. It's uh, the, the June challenge is called Fill Your Sketchbook. And the challenge is to create art every day for a week. Um, and I have <clears throat> prompts for every day for those uh, seven days. And um, I've gathered reference uh, reference photos. And um, there's ideas for what mediums to use. And I'm going to be doing it along with you guys, assuming there's no emergencies or people getting sick, which it seems like has been nonstop in 2024 so far. <laughs> but, you know, uh, fingers crossed. 
Um, and I'm going to be doing it with you guys and we're going to have a special chat group over on the Patreon app to chat about it. So if you're interested in doing that along with us in June, um, make sure you are signed up to the sketchbook tier level, the $4 a month level uh, by June 1st. Um, and then you can get this little PDF and work along with us. So um, I'm going to hand it over to Monday Amy, because this is Friday Amy. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, Monday Amy is confused because she thinks she's going to be able to do a whole lot of stuff that she cannot do because <laughs> her arm hurts bad when it sits out of this sling. Um, I'm going to hand it over to her and I'm hoping next week that there will be, I get to physically start physical therapy next week and I'm hoping, um, you know, I'll just keep progressing along with the healing and stretching and lengthening and hopefully, uh, next week we'll... <laughs> Go a little bit better than this week but on the plus side you get to see a lot of fun footage from my life um that you might enjoy so here's monday amy for you so obviously my mood is feeling much improved i am very grateful to be out of it um i might still have to sleep in it for a while he said so we'll see how that goes um i have been the last couple of nights been sleeping in it so um it's only been off for a couple days so i'm still I'm not supposed to be using it still, really. Um, lifting nothing heavier than a, a coffee mug at this point. Um, but, you know, I can use it for something. So, uh, things should be easier now. I'm hoping. Um, the update, I, I wanted to update everybody who asked about my husband. Um, he is, as of today, not getting better. So we're definitely thinking either like a tear or broken ribs. Um, I'm probably going to start pushing for him to go to the doctor pretty soon. Uh, I might give him another day or two and if it's not better, he's going to have to go. So um, not sure what's going on there. Um, and as of filming this, my son has not had any more hive outbreaks. So knock on wood. <laughs> um, so that's moving in the right, right direction anyway. Um, but yeah, I, this week is filled with physical therapies <laughs> and, um, kids band concerts and, uh, follow-up appointments and other stuff. So I'm not sure how much time I'm going to have for art making. Uh, but I would very much like to try to start doing some acrylic painting. Um, I think I could manage cleanup. It's the cleanup that was an issue. Um, and also, you know, unscrewing caps and putting caps back on and um, stuff like that. But I'm definitely at least going to try. Um, if I can't physically paint anything, maybe I could at least swatch all my new golden uh, heavy body paints and interference paints and iridescent paints. Um, I will assume that I have words popping up here to tell you what I did. Um, and I definitely want to get in some time making some jewelry too. So uh let's it's like i said monday morning at 10 08 so let's that hurt a little bit let's get started and see where this week takes us and i will check back in with you guys in a little bit first i thought you might want to see uh my mother's day present so we took a trip to our uh, garden and tractor supply um, and we have been looking quite a while for a pear tree. Um, we have one pear tree. You need two pear trees because they have to cross pollinate. So finally, uh, we got another pear tree. This smaller tree behind my husband there is our other pear tree. Um, and we do, you do need a second pear tree to cross pollinate to actually have pears. We did get one very small pear on our other tree last year. We think one bee must have pollinated a pear tree somewhere around here and got blown way off course or something. Um, but we figured it was time to get another tree. Uh, my son took over digging here for a little bit, so here's a little footage of my dog. <laughs> here comes our pear tree. We're just about ready to put it in. So here's our new pear tree. This tree directly behind it is a pear tree as well. This is our new one. This is a Parker pear. There's the info in case anybody's interested. So this was part one of my two Mother's Day presents. I'll show you the other one in a minute. But I guess this is sort of what I meant about um, showing a little bit more of my life because this week it was really hard to create art and I don't think I would have had enough content for a video uh, without 
showing some of this other stuff that I'm going to be showing. So, um, nope, there's my, my son's shadow and his finger. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is what it is, and I'm doing the best I can. It ended up being really, I think I might have talked about it already, but really painful uh, to try to do art with my arm fresh out of the sling. It was just extremely extremely hard a lot harder than I thought it was going to be this first week so I'm glad I had some other footage to show you guys and this is uh, my other present I've wanted one of these for a long time it's um, a special rose bush um, I like roses are one of my Ow. favorite flowers <laughs> the dog <laughs> being bad this one is a campfire rose I wanted one of these for several years this was my Mother's Day present Okay, so it is Tuesday now, and I did realize yesterday afternoon that I wasn't as far as I should be in the March tutorial for Patreon, so I spent a while uh, finishing up the inking and then um, paint. This is in the ugly stage. I hate to show it to you, but uh, this is just the very first under layers of watercolor um, yesterday, so uh, I don't know. We have a crazy schedule today. I don't know if I'll get any farther on that or not today. Oh, I left the door open. You want to say hi? Come on. She's here to say hi. There's Miss Belle. She says, hello, everybody. She says, hello. She says, mommy can scratch both my ears again. <laughs> She's the good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. She's the good girl. I know. She's been acting a little funny today. A little bit funny. A little bit clingy. This is her puppy hug. She comes and just pushes her head into you. It's like her puppy hug, we call it. She's done it since she was a baby. She'll just push her head into you. It's like a, her hug. Yeah, I know. I know. She says, I want to go O-U-T. But it's raining a little right now, so we got to wait. All right. <laughs> Guess we're going to do the rest of this portion of today's video like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I guess the plan today is to try to get some stuff done before her, uh, we have a bunch, I have my follow-up, uh, another follow-up today, and, um, the band concert is tonight, and for my, one of my kids, and there's just a lot to do today, so, I'm gonna hold on to the camera, I'm afraid she's gonna knock it over, Bell, get out, go lay down. Go lay down now. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go lay down. She's gonna lay down behind me, maybe. Go lay down. She moved this, huh? I'm working on, I don't know if you can see it, I'm working on a video with the Posca markers, which I have never tried yet before. Um, so I'm gonna be swatching those later today and transferring a drawing to this Jess Award. Um, I think is part of the plan for today and then I'm probably going to be working in the basement layer some today. Uh, I got some um, antique bulb looking lights. The dog's rolling on the carpet now so you can hear her snorting. Um, that my husband's going to hang up if he can manage it with one hand. Um, I'm not sure if he's up to it. Probably maybe not this week. I don't know. Um, and I would like to actually start planning some jewelry pieces. I'm thinking I would like to do a grand reopening of my shop on, I think, July 18th. That's either a Tuesday or a Thursday. I don't remember which. But that gives me roughly six weeks to uh, make a few jewelry items and list, make all the print and sticker files from the art I've made since my last shop update last fall, um, and list some of the new art I've made and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm thinking I need to get on that. <laughs> um, I want to have fun though and not push myself too hard because I, I have a very bad tendency of pushing myself too hard too fast. So um, this is supposed to be fun. So we're going to be working on some of that today and I will meet you here again later in the week. So here is a little more cleaning and organizing uh, down in the basement um, before I start the, the makeover, I guess. Um, I put my, you can see I have my brace back on. I put it on just to make sure I didn't use it. I was afraid I was going to use it. Um, 
and ruin stuff. So uh, here's some uh, shelf organizers I'm putting together. This is like, everything's still really a mess here, but um, now as I'm doing the voiceover, it's done. So <laughs> it's actually a big project and uh, I could not have done it without the kids and my husband. Um, my husband, especially, even though he was hurt, he helped me with the lights and I'm really grateful for that because the lights, I think, made the biggest difference. Um, this shelf organizer, in case anybody is interested, is from Walmart and it is plastic, but it's rated to hold 70 pounds per shelf and 700 pounds for the whole unit. And we have another one that we've had like five or six years now, and it is still in perfect condition. No sagging, no cracking, no chipping. Um, and I think they're, I think they're like $29.99 at Walmart right now. Uh, cause I got an, uh, two, one here and one for the room behind me there. Um, and I highly recommend them in case you're interested. Um, I really think I'm going to like the space. I mean, yes, it's my basement, but we, well, you'll see when the finished video goes up, I'm thinking, um, it might even be up already before this one. I might've put it up before this art chat, depending on how far I got in editing this. Um, if it is up already, I'll link it in the description below so you can go check it out. Um, but yeah. at the greenhouse the progress for the weekend the outside is all done and I don't know if you can see that let's go inside we are with our first little bench started maybe this coming weekend I can um, start some plants in here that would be lovely it is 37 outside I think, or is it 34? I think it's 34 right now. It's early in the morning and almost 40 degrees in here, but it's not completely closed in yet. He needs to close in the gaps. We are with our first little bench started. Maybe this coming weekend I can um, start some plants in here. That would be lovely. It is 37 outside, I think, or is it 34? I think it's 34 right now. It's early in the morning and almost 40 degrees in here, but it's not completely closed in yet. He needs to close in the gaps. So I didn't get as much done as I was hoping this week. Uh, I didn't really have the go-ahead to um, actually work. <laughs> um... I was warned that when the brace came off, it was going to be more painful than when it was on. And I knew that, but it was still disappointing when it happened. Um, so I did, I did a lot of reading again. Um, I did a fair amount of uh, organizing and cleaning in the basement. I did put the brace back on while I was doing that just to protect it and to keep me from using it and whatnot and also it does help with the the pain relief a little bit um it was hard trying to sit at my desk and do watercoloring I did not get as far as I would like and in fact I think on 
Uh, late Wednesday afternoon, I just gave up on it, and I did start a acrylic painting at my easel instead, sitting on a stool. Um, it seemed easier for my shoulder to do that than to try to hunch over the desk. I think my posture must be really bad uh, when I'm sitting at the desk. So I did at least, I, I spent some time just sketching the sketch out on a canvas with, um, Actually, first I gessoed it, and I think there's a clip of me gessoing it in here somewhere. And then I sketched out uh, my drawing on the canvas in um, a Caran d'Ache watercolor pencil in red. And then I went over it with um, acrylic and started the underpainting. I didn't even finish that. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was a tough week. I thought it would get easier when the brace came off, uh, but it didn't. I had my first physical therapy appointment this week. Um, I think that went reasonably well. Um, there's a little bit of concern about, uh, oh, my triceps is acting weird. They're not sure if there's just extra fluid in there uh, that didn't drain yet from the surgery or if it's a little irritated or swollen. Um, but we'll deal with that as it comes. And I started like home I wouldn't say exercises yet, not really, um, but some stretching and stuff. They gave me some pulleys to help lift my arm now that the robot chair is is gone. Um, so really, this week was spent tending to uh, rehabbing my arm, really. I mean, it was tons of time. So, I mean, I'm glad I got some stuff done, but this is one of those weeks where I feel like I should have had more to show you guys and I didn't. So uh, I'm glad everybody seemed mostly okay with me showing more aspects of my life other than just art, which is why you get to see the Mother's Day present. Um, and I think we're going to switch to the basement here now. Yep, there we are. So I'm gessoing. I was like, uh, I had enough of this. Let's go gesso a canvas and, and do some of that. So I am gessoing this canvas here. You're getting a little sneak, sneak peek peek of some of the stuff I've done to fix up the basement. That video should be coming maybe next week. I'm just about done with the final finishing touches. Um, if anybody ever has trouble with gesso, my top tips for gessoing are A, uh, thin it a little bit, and B, after you put it on, smooth it with like a bathroom squeegee. It works great. That's my top tip. <laughs> um, it It's very smooth and nice. Anyway, oh, I'm checking my phone. <laughs> anyway, I, I, it was, yeah, I'm struggling still and I'm hoping that next week will be easier. I feel like as each day goes by, things are loosening up and I feel like they're moving a little bit better. There's my drawing that I sketched with the uh, watercolor pencil and I'm getting ready to put some acrylic on there. Um, I like to just like... I like to block things in with the acrylic and know where I'm going, and I, I, I like things planned out. I'm not a very spontaneous <laughs> fly by the seat of my pants, to quote pretty woman, <laughs> kind of person. Um, I like using the, the especially, well, when I'm using acrylic paints, I like to use um, a watercolor pencil because it just dissolves into the acrylic paint and you don't have to worry about it surfacing through your paint or anything like that. So I tend to use that um, as my as my first sketching out my design. Uh, anyway, I, I do feel like my arm is loosening up. It seems like it's moving a little bit better in the pulley each day. It's going a little bit farther. There's a little less pain. Um, I'm hopeful that it won't take too long to get better. Next week, I have the go-ahead to actually start using it a little bit more. Um, we'll be at seven weeks next week since surgery. Um, I got to take the brace out at six weeks and then at seven weeks I can start trying to like actually, I can't lift anything heavier than, heavier than a coffee cup and I'm not supposed to lift it more than, I forgot what she said, I know not 90 degrees. So, but I should be able to start like using it a little bit. So I'm hoping next week if it's not too painful, we'll go a little bit better and I'll get a little bit more done. I'm hoping to finish the May tutorial next week and um, I'd like to get in some jewelry making and I really want to work on this acrylic painting as well. Um, I'm excited to start this. 
So hopefully next week I can do some of those fun things. Um, it is, oh, I don't even know what day it is today. It's near the end of April. <laughs> um, and I'm tired. It's been, my husband is not really recovered yet. Uh, not at all recovered yet. He had a really bad day. He tried to use his um, injured chest area at work yesterday and it didn't go well. And my son continues to have hives and facial swelling. So it's been a hard week. Um, hopefully, here's fingers crossed to next week being a much better week with more art and more fun and more creating. And I hope you guys have a nice week next week too. So it was it was a rough week. There was a lot of appointments and then like my kids band concert and um, my son ended up having hives again one time and my husband is still dealing with his chest injury. So it ended up being um, tough and uh, planting my new pear tree and my new rose bush were the highlights of my week. That was that was nice. Um, it is Friday, like I said. Um, we are going to have fishing opener here uh, soon um, and I am going to, uh, the next one of these chats probably will be um, getting ready to do some plain air painting. Um, I like to paint while the boys fish. Sometimes I like to fish too, but um, um, I'm excited to get out and paint, so I think I'll do that this time. Um, so that'll probably be next time, assuming this goes well. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> I didn't get to make any jewelry this week, unfortunately. Uh, I didn't really get to do a whole lot with art. Um, it was just run, 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 busy, 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 appointment, appointment, appointment. Um, and then lots of, uh, like editing videos and businessy stuff. So, um, yeah, I've got to figure out a way to handle things better, I think, for next, next week or the coming months or whatever. Anyway, it is the very start of May now, which is nice. Um, I'm really looking forward to spring and summer. It was, even though it wasn't a hard winter this year, it was still a really long winter. Um, I am ready for some sunshine and some warmth and some flowers and to be out in the garden and uh, really ready for the kids to be on summer vacation so they can get a break. It's been a tough year for them too. Um, and I am just looking forward to spring and summer. And I am also actually really looking forward to the June challenge um, in Patreon. It's different than what I would normally do and I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to participating in it with all of you guys. Uh, so yeah, again, if you if you uh, if you would like to join that challenge, just make sure you're signed up by June 1st over on Patreon. Um, and that is it, I think, for this week. Thank you for being here with me today. Uh, sorry I didn't get as much art done as I would have liked. Uh, I'm really struggling with this. Hopefully it, I'm sure it's fine, but it, it hurts still. So, um, I will update everybody after I see the physical therapist for the first time and let everybody know what they said and uh, just continue on healing. So, uh, oh, if you want to join Patreon, that'll be linked below. And if you haven't hit the like or subscribe button or left a comment, it would be great if you did. It helps YouTube know that this is quality content and then they show it to more people and that helps me earn a little more ad revenue, which helps me make videos for you guys. So until next time, happy creating. Mm -hmm.